time for another pop date with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. Today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, we are talking about what to do if your dog is in a mood. Maybe they're moody. Maybe they're, you know, depressed. Maybe they're annoyed. Whatever kind of mood it is, today, guys, we are going to tackle what you can do to help your dog get through those moods. Coming up next on Mumbles. On today's pup date, I am talking about what to do if your dog becomes moody. Guys, dogs are just like people. They have moods, they have feelings, they have, you know, thoughts, they have concerns, they have all that stuff like people have. So, there will be a time at some point in your dog's life where you will find, hey, my dog is in a bad mood. What do I do? My dog's in a bad mood. My dog's depressed. My dog's not feeling good. What do I do? Guys, today on today's episode of Mumbles, I am tackling this topic of dog moodiness. And I have some tips that can help you today to hopefully help your pet get into a better mood. So guys, we're going to jump straight into this, starting with check and make sure all of your dog's needs are being met. Guys, if there's a change in mood in your dog, the first thing you need to look at is, are they getting enough food? Are they getting enough sleep? Are they, are they feeling okay? You got to check over those kind of things and make sure they're getting the essentials. They're getting their exercise. They're getting their food. They're getting their sleep. They're getting all that stuff that a dog needs in everyday life. If they're not getting one of those things, then that can be the cause of a bad mood in dog. Just like when you're hot and you want to drink water and there's no water around. Think about that if you forgot for some reason to give your dog water. That can be the cause of a bad mood. So first things first, make sure all of your need, the dog's needs are being met. The second thing is to make sure your dog is not in any physical distress. Guys, you want to make sure basically that your dog's not sick. You know, it could be, you know, your dog is in a bad mood because, you know, maybe their foot's hurting them. Maybe they got arthritis. Maybe they're having bathroom issues. Maybe, you know, they're, they're, they're vomiting or something. So you want to make sure that they are in good physical condition. You may need to take them to the vet and maybe have the vet assess what's going on with them if you're very concerned. But this is the second tip that I have for you guys today. Make sure they are in good physical condition because that can relate to their mood quite a bit. Guys, the third tip that I have is to make sure nothing has changed in your household. Guys, dogs are kind of like humans in as much as when their environment or their world changes, they can change. Let's say, for instance, you recently had a baby. Maybe your dog, all of a sudden, when it was the center of attention, now it still gets a lot of attention, but it's not the center of attention. The baby needs a lot of care, so the baby may be kind of taking the place of center of attention. That can cause the dog to pout, not be happy about it, things like that. Now, I'm just using that as an example. It can be any number of things. It could be that, you know, you recently have been home more often. Maybe your dog hasn't been getting as much sleep because you're home and they want to spend time with you. Maybe, you know, you've been away more, so your dog is a little bit, you know, not so happy with you because they've had to spend more time by themselves. It can be things that are as simple as that that can cause your dog to have a mood issue. So, again, third tip, check the, the environment that they are in to see if anything has changed. Now, guys, the rest of the tips are kind of ways you can help them with their moods. You know, sometimes dogs need certain things. So I am going to cover some basic things that you can do to help improve your dog's mood. My fourth tip today is maybe have a playtime with your dog. You know, sometimes dogs get bored. They want something to do. You know, they're just, oh, I'm tired of the same old. Maybe that's time that you need to say, hey, you know, playtime. Let's go play with some toys. Let's do something. Give your dog some entertainment so they're not gurring all the time. You know, it can be a great mood changer to play with them and spend some time with them. They will enjoy it, and that may be all that they need. Guys, the fifth tip that I have is exercise. Guys, sometimes dogs just need more exercise. Just like a human, I know I personally use exercise sometimes just to clear my mind, just to have a great outlook, you know, to get some things off my mind, to work some stuff out. And dogs can be that way too. Sometimes maybe they need a little extra exercise in addition to what they're already getting. So maybe take your dog on an extra walk. Maybe take them around the block again. Maybe do more with them exercise-wise than you normally would. Sometimes it can help improve their mood. The sixth thing is just like humans, sometimes dogs like a little tasty treat. Maybe give them, you know, that extra special treat you only reserve for special occasions. That may help their mood. Just like people like sometimes 
a, a special food to make them feel better, sometimes a special food can also improve a dog's mood. Now, the seventh thing that I'm bringing you guys today is dogs are actually fans of some music. Now, nothing too loud or aggressive, but some nice calm music may actually help to improve your dog's mood and may actually help to, you know, soothe them or make them feel better or anything like that. So you may want to consider trying some music around the house. You know, like I said, nothing, not anything, you know, too extreme or anything. Some nice soft music to hopefully brighten their spirits. Now, guys, the eighth and final thing is sometimes, you know, you just have to leave a dog alone. Maybe a dog wants some, some alone time. You know, maybe they're just, you know, they're just not with it. They're having an off day and they just need a little bit of alone time. Sometimes, just like us as humans need alone time, your dog can also need alone time. So, guys, sometimes you just have to leave them alone. Guys, these have been my tips for how to deal with a moody dog. I hope you guys all enjoyed this and learned something from it. Now I'm going to go get Dancer so we can finish up this video. Guys, now as with every week, it is time for Dancer's favorite section. Our pup in play. You can see this cute little guy have all sorts of fun. And here he is. Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mobiles and Dancer Puppies. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those buttons. Dancer sends his love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And guys, this is going to be Mobiles and Dancer signing off. Have a great day, everyone. Say bye-bye, Mr. Dancer. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.